This 2010 FIFA World Cup qualifier played on the 11th of October 2009, in which Harambe Stars lost 1-0 to Tunisia, is one of the 14 matches that former Harambe Stars defender George Wise Owino is reported to have fixed under the instructions of international match fixer Wilson Raj Perumal. A 16th of September email from Perumal to Owino and addressed to two other players named as Pascal and Julius reads, Note, if you lose by 1-0 to Tunisia, you will end up with nothing. I want a 3-0 scoreline. I expect the score to be 2-0 in the normal game, but with your assistant, I can get a 3-0 scoreline. To which Owino replied on 17th of September 2010, Don't worry, we will do the job because we need the cash. On 3rd of October, Perumal wrote to Owino stating, My man will carry 25,000 US dollars for you, 25,000 dollars for Pascal, 25,000 for Julius, and the new player will get 15,000 dollars. To which Owino replied on 3rd of October 2010, Listen, my friend, we are serious and ready for the business. We promise we won't let you down. Trust us. The duo had started conversations regarding money a year earlier, with Perumal emailing Owino on 18th July 2009, asking for confirmation regarding 500 US dollars sent. Did you receive the money? He asked, to which Owino replied on the same day stating, Yes, thank you very much and may you be blessed. Also adding on the next day, Hi, I got the cash. I'm very grateful. All this is captured in a 10-page FIFA preliminary investigation report obtained and first published by Nation Sport. Based on the report, a FIFA has opened investigation proceedings against Owino for potential breaches of the Articles 13, 17 and 27 of the 2018 FIFA Code of Ethics, as well as the corresponding provisions of the 2012 FIFA Code of Ethics and the 2009 FIFA Code of Ethics. Speaking to NTV Sport on phone, Football Kenya Federation CEO Robert Muthomi stated that, I was the first to be contacted by FIFA. I then contacted the player George Owino and the club Mathari United. With issues before FIFA's ethics committee as FKF we are not allowed to talk, we are dealing with local match-fixing allegations. For international AFCON World Cup qualifiers match-fixing and FIFA deals, his club first suspended him, then his contract lapsed. NTV Sport also managed to speak on condition of anonymity to someone who was part of KFF in the duration under investigation who shed further light on the scandal. I met Wilson around uh, 2009 at uh, Safari Park Hotel uh, in the company of uh, ex uh, uh, Football Kenya Limited by then officials. In particular, I would mention the match between uh, Harambe Stars and Nigeria, Kasarani, the World Cup qualifier. And uh, you would really have not thought about the match being fixed, but uh, indications were there right from the beginning, from the previous night, the pre-match meeting. Owino last played for Mathari United and he previously played for Sofa Paka, Tasca FC, St. George in Ethiopia, as well as Yanga and Simba in Tanzania. He is said to have been approached by Perumal to fix games with the promise of money and a potential move to an unnamed Australian team. It has to be confidential. The purpose I'm going to bring you here is for business, but you have to remain loyal to me only. Salary each month is $30,000. If I say lose, you do as I say, or else you won't see your own salary. Perumal, also known as the most notorious match fixer in the world, is a convicted Singaporean match fixer. According to the FIFA Code of Ethics Article 13, receiving money to influence a game has a fine of 10,000 Swiss francs as well as a maximum two-year ban, while not reporting attempts to match fix is under Article 17 and it has a similar penalty to Article 13 and bribery is under Article 27 and it attracts a fine of 100,000 Swiss francs as well as a five-year ban. In 2004, Kenya Cricket Association banned high-flying cricketer Maurice Odumbe due to match-fixing. In 2018, Kenyan referee Aidan Marwa was implicated in a continental match-fixing ring. 
come January 2019, an immediate former Kakamega homeboys coach, Paul Nkata, was accused of match rigging. Just a week later, FIFA implicates a former Harambe Stars defender, George Owino. Clearly, the conversation surrounding integrity in sports is one that needs to be had. For NTV, I'm Aida Warenga.